Okay, so here we have this mini binder. So I don't know where I quite got the idea for this, but I found this binder at like a thrift store and it's a little dirty. I mean, I, I've already tried to clean it and I don't think it's gonna get much better. In fact, I know it's not gonna get much better. Um, but what I wanna use it for is I have all these little mini watercolor paintings that I did, like they're super tiny and I wanna like put them together somehow. And so that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do with the binder. So here are all the mini watercolors and some of them are bigger than the binder, but I kind of don't really care that much. Um, I'm gonna try to fit as many as I can into this little binder um, just to have all of them together because right now they were just like in a little crate on my table and like some of them got marked up on accident. So I wanted to put them in something a little bit more safe for them. So I am actually going to decorate this. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I hope you enjoy my little mini binder. So these are stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're actually meant, I think, for like you to put on walls, but I just really liked them. So I bought them and I'm using them to decorate the outside of the binder. I did already test, um, using like my paint pens to see if I could like paint the outside of it but it just immediately wiped off so I was like well that's a bust so I decided instead to use these stickers which I'm gonna be honest they didn't they stuck but if you're gonna use this and flip through this a ton they're gonna pop off because I had to reposition some of them at some point and realized just how easily they could come off so, but I don't really plan to like touch this or use this a lot. So I think it'll be fine for me. But if you're planning to do the same thing, it will not work with something that you're going to be handling frequently. So I, you know, like I said, this is just to keep these pictures safe and it's literally, I'm making it and it's going on a bookshelf and it's just gonna hang out there for a while. And I'll probably flip through it once every like two years or something. <laughs> So um, what I'm doing now is I've got all these different kinds of scrapbooking paper and what I'm doing is I'm cutting them to kind of fit in the book and then to fit the um, pictures that I have just to give them because like I really didn't want to like put holes through my actual pictures I, but I was willing to like put holes obviously through like the scrapbooking paper and that was when I, I realized I hole punched them wrong and had to do it again. So that paper became my, my template for all my other pages. But I tried to pick out paper that like kind of fit with whatever picture I was doing. So I really thought about um, the paper. I didn't just pick out anything to go with it. So, and this is my little baby paper cutter that I really like. It's, it's nice, it's handy. Um, and then that's me realizing that like not all the pictures are going to be able to go onto paper, but I made it work. Mark my little holes, use just a single hole puncher and then boom. And then I'm just basically going to repeat this step a bunch more times. So I'm not going to talk over the rest of this because you know the process now. So it's just put it on repeat. So enjoy.
Okay, this is it. Um, totally finished. Um, we're gonna do a little little flip through of the book of it totally complete. And it didn't take too long to make, gonna be honest. Um, I think it turned out well. One other tip I didn't think of is that as I finished each page, I put it underneath um, a stack of books to keep the paper from like warping. So that's a pro tip for you if you're gonna glue them down. So I thought about adding words to the, like, to like around the pictures and I, I just didn't get around to doing it. And I think they look nice on their own. And you can see some of them are like too big for the binder. And like I said in the beginning, I really don't care. You know, it's just gonna go on a shelf. It was just to kind of keep them all together and keep them in a nice safe spot. So I really like that paper with that um, picture. So I'm particularly proud of that teapot. I think that teapot's super cute. Um, so yeah, this is, I mean, I like them. I also found some, after, as I was doing it, I looked behind me and on my um, cabinets, I saw that I put up some of the little mini artworks. So that's where I found those. That's why they weren't there in the beginning. I was like, oh yeah, here's a bunch more. So I really like it. Love that little narwhal. Little narwhal is adorable. So, and then this is just a flower practice. So that's why I didn't care about matting it and I just put pop some holes in it, so. If you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Um, I make a bunch of different types of art videos, so I hope to see you soon.